intense solar flare is in hard X-rays and in energetic X-rays and gamma rays is about as energetic as continuous optical light from the sun at any given time. And this is 10 to 100 trillion times more powerful for that tenth of a second. The magnetar eruption is where the surface regions threaded by these very intense magnetic fields um, are disrupted likely by the magnetic fields. They're ripped apart in a sort of seismic event. That's what we think. And so they shred the outer layers, blow off the outer layers in a burst of energetic hot ionized gas plasma that flows out that populates the around the periphery of the star in the mag equatorial magnetic fields and then blows off as this torpedo this blob uh, that flows out and radiates that initial giant flash that we see it is unbelievable and i mean <laughs> it can fry anything in its environs this is a very serendipitous, exciting result, okay? It's something that we've not had. We've got some teaser results from other nearby galaxies that we don't really have the level of data on. This time, we have a new set of data. We have better instruments, more instruments, and that is only going to continue. So from the technical point of view, the pure science point of view, you want to know why they explode, what is going on inside the star that seeds this explosion. In order to find this burst of, find that what's going on there, you have to understand what it signals. In other words, you're seeing the symptoms. The light that you see, this flash, is the symptoms. But there is some underlying cause, and we really don't know what that is. We've got ideas, but we don't know exactly what that is. So we have to sort of backtrack go from outside in to understand what's going on.